All right, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a multi-group moderation test using Amos and a chi-square difference test in Excel. Now the first thing you need to do is build your model, as I've done here. The second thing you need to do is double click on group number one to establish your groups. My moderator is gender, so my first group is going to be called male, and hit new. My second group would be called female, and hit close. The next thing you need to do is set up your data files. For male, I went the Sohana, no missing, and for female, I went the same. Let me go find it. Here it is. You need to set up a grouping variable for each group. Looks like male has already been set up. Gender is the grouping variable. The value is two. That's actually wrong. So the group value should be one for male. For female, grouping value is our, or I mean, grouping variable is our moderator, gender, and the grouping value is two. Now that was set up pre uh, previously in SPSS. Hit OK. The next thing you need to do is check your output properties. Um, you just need standardized estimates for a multi-group test. All right, we're ready to run. I'm going to save this and run it and view the text. Go to estimates and now we can toggle back and forth between male and female. We what, what, what we'd like to do is trim the insignificant paths, the paths that are insignificant for both male and for female. And so the best way to go about this is to start with the group that has the fewest insignificant paths. And for us that is female it looks like based on these p-values here. So we'll look at this least significant or the highest p-value. For females, it's feedback to set C. For males, is it insignificant? Yes, it is, and it's very insignificant. So we can trim it. Feedback to set C. Get the X, find the arrow, cut it out, and run it again. You'll do these one at a time. So estimates, back to female. It looks like we only have one more that's above 0.05 part to set w. For male it is also insignificant so we can trim it. Part to set w right here and run it again and look at it. Estimates. There we go. We have no more insignificant paths for female which means we can't trim anymore. We're done and we have our unconstrained model now. So what we need to do is take the chi-square in notes for the model and degrees of freedom and put these in our chi-square difference test spreadsheet. So I'm just going to copy this one here because it's kind of long. Control C and I'll remember degrees of freedom are six. Here we go. Just paste that in there in the unconstrained chi-square. The degrees of freedom were six. And then in fully constrained, we don't have that yet. We need to go fully constrain our model. The way you do this is first to save, and you'll see why in just a minute. Then you go to Plugins, Name Parameters, Name the Regression Weights. Hit OK, and you'll see that these uh, path names or regression weight labels pop up. It, that just makes it so that the paths are constrained to be equal to each other when we run these models. And we will run it now without saving. Go get the chi-square and degrees of freedom in notes for the model. I'm just going to copy that. Control C and degrees of freedom are 10. Paste it here. Degrees of freedom 10 and everything is going to auto-populate. Looky here. It looks like the the two models, the genders are different or the um, the models are different. The model is different across genders. And so what we do now is we go do a path by path analysis. Now if this turned up to be yes, they are invariant, which means no, they are not different, um, then we would not have to go and check path by path, but typically your theory says that they are different, so you would want to go and test specific paths that you are theorizing um, are moderated by your moderating variable. Um, we're going to go ahead and go do that. You'll notice here, um, confidence thresholds for your chi-square. When we go to path by path constraints you'll get a new chi-square and if that chi-square is above this threshold 
for 90%, we can say we are 90% confident that the two groups are different on this certain path. Or that if it's about 80, you know, we're 95% or 83 uh, for 83 it's 99%. So let's go do that. Now, without saving, we're going to go back and click on multi-group demo, which is our model. So whatever your model is called, click on it down here. Hit no. We do want to lose these changes. So now we're back to this nice trimmed model. It's unconstrained. We're just going to constrain one path at a time. To do that, you double click the arrow, go to parameters, and just name it something A. A is good. Close it and run it. Go get that new chi-square and degrees of freedom. 76. Is 76 more than 79, I believe it was? Here's 79. Nope, it is not. That means that these two groups are not different along this path, the feedback to satisfaction with work. They're not different with regards to that path. So let's unconstrain that path. Just delete that. Let's click on another path. How about this one? Call it A. Run it again. Go get the chi-square. Here it is, 81. Is 81 more than 79? Yes, it is. It's actually more than that 80 threshold. Here we go. So we can say with 95% confidence that our gender does moderate the path from participation to satisfaction with customers. So for men and women, this relationship is different. See, there we go. Now you would go and do that for each of these other paths as well. But that's it. Not much to it.